skeptical American public about taking the vaccine, and they should be. We can't trust the president uh, and take... This is when Donald Trump was in office. Mind you, let me preface this. This is when Donald J. Trump was in office. This is how your politicians felt about the vax. When Donald Trump was in office, the same vaccine, same companies, everything is exactly the same. This is what they had to say when Trump was in office. His word and take a vaccine that might cause harm to us. If and when the vaccine comes, it's not likely to go through all the tests that needs to be and the trials that are needed to be done. Let's just say there's a vaccine that is approved and even distributed before the election. Would you get it? Well, I think that's going to be an issue for all of us. When we finally do, God willing, get a vaccine, who's going to take the shot? Who's going to take the shot? Look at these. Look at these. Look at these evil people. I'm going to let it keep playing. But I want you to look at these evil. Hit the like button, share this. I want people to watch this. Look at these evil people. Why do you say the evil? I have to justify it, right? Why would they say this when Trump was in office, but now all of a sudden, all, it has changed. Same company, same vaccine, same distribution process. Everything is exactly the same. It's propaganda. We will need to have access to the vaccine results so we can make our independent assessment to make sure that Donald Trump's uh, fingerprints are not on it. You can be the first one to say, put me, sign me up. They now say it's okay. Is the vaccine safe? Uh, frankly, I'm not going to trust the federal government's opinion. And I wouldn't recommend to New Yorkers based on the federal government's opinion. And the question of whether it's real when it's there, that requires enormous transparency. Would you trust that vaccine? There's very little that we can trust that comes out of Donald Trump's mouth. We cannot take for granted this process will be free of political influence. I don't trust the president, and I don't trust the FDA. If Don I, keep it coming. Keep it coming. Y'all, hit the like button. Share this. I, this is, I, I'm not making this up. YouTube. I'm not making this up. Don't get mad at me. I'm just, I'm just showing people what they are saying. With the same people that are live by, die by the FDA, the government, when Donald Trump was in office, they are pushing you to believe that this is an unverified vaccine. You can't take it. It's unsafe. I wouldn't take it. I don't know why people trust the government. And as soon as Joe Biden somehow get into position, all of a sudden, if you don't trust this, you go to jail. That's what they want for you. If you don't trust this, you don't do this, you can't go to restaurants, you can't go to school, you can't go to work, you can't fly on an airplane, you need a passport to show that you are a part of the community. When these son of a guns knew that it's the same thing and they pushed this agenda when Trump was in office. Trump can't give answers and the administration can't give answers to these three questions. The American people should not have confidence. You're going to say to the American people now, Here's a vaccine, it was new, it was done quickly, but trust this federal administration and their health administration that it's safe. Same people that Trump used, they use. And Fauci is the same person that they used when they were when they running their, their little stuff, and Trump used the same person, which is one of the things I didn't like that he did using Fauci. They're using the same people. Same people. Okay. I will say that I would not trust Donald Trump. Hey, how confident are you in the approval process of the FDA right now. How confident am I? Uh, I'm not that confident. Yes, I would be hesitant, but I'm going to ask a lot of questions. You're going to need someone other than this FDA and this CDC saying it's safe. you got to make all... Somebody more than the FDA, the CDC, this CDC, as if the CDC somehow changed. When Trump just miraculously, when he switched positions with Biden, all of a sudden everything changed. You can't, you can't, first of all, Mr. Homeboy did mess with women and do all this stuff he's not supposed to be doing allegedly. You can't trust these people. All of it available to other experts across the nation so they can look and see. And when you make it available to other experts, a lot of experts have negative things to say. But you get, if you do have an opinion, if you open up to experts like Joe Biden said, now they tell you that you're crazy. Now you got to get banned on social media. Now you, you're pushing a conspiracy theory. Now you're pushing fake information. But when they want to do it, it's all good.
Everybody should jump on board. It's crazy to me, y'all. This is crazy. I had to go live about this. It's crazy. So there's a consensus this is a safe vaccine. Uh, what I'm worried about is that there's some sort of October surprise and that there is a pressure put on the decision makers here to announce the vaccine in October of 2020. We're going to put together our own group of doctors and medical experts to review the vaccine and the efficacy and the protocol. And if they say it's safe, then I'll go to the people of New York and I will say it's safe. But if Donald Trump tells us I should that we should take it, I'm not taking it. 